I'm Six Andrew Side. Doctors at a medical center in West Alabama say the number of pediatric patients, kids, that they're seeing has doubled from July to August, all because of back to school germs and viruses. Your Tuscaloosa reporter, Brian Henry, is live right there in front of DCH Regional Medical Center. Brian, what are the illnesses the doctors are seeing? Well, Sarah and Jonathan, pediatricians tell me they typically see sick children from October to March, but this year it's been much earlier, and one doctor knows why. So it was three years of her pediatrics. Dr. Mallory Marshall is fresh off her medical residency and has been baptized by the influx of sick kids early and often. But since COVID, that's really kind of changed things, and we were seeing those increased numbers all throughout the year. And it's not just in West Alabama, but across the country, according to Dr. Marshall, COVID sinus infections, the sniffles, the flu, are par for the course with children being back in school and exposed to germs and viruses. It's a CK sound. Just because we're seeing them, the viruses and illnesses earlier in the year, they haven't necessarily been more severe than what we're used to seeing. So um, I wouldn't say a cause of alarm, just something a bit unusual. One surefire way to reduce the chances of getting sick and it's also very simple. Wash your hands often and thoroughly for 20 seconds. But making sure you scrub both sides of the hands and particularly under the fingernails. Sometimes for kids it's helpful if you sing a little song. Um, I've heard people sing happy birthday. Worth the time and effort when you consider what the CDD says about hand washing. And it's estimated that about 50% of some of our pediatric illnesses that end up in the hospital could be prevented by hand washing here all year. Sound medical advice for the young and old alike from the good doctor. Right outside of my and Dr. Mallory Marshall says now is the time for adults and children to get their flu shots to stay ahead of the game. Now, according to Dr. Marshall, babies as young as six months old are eligible for those flu shots. Your Tuscaloosa reporter, Brian Henry, WBRC 6 News, on your side.